love interviewing friends, and this next guest is such a dear friend of mine. I've interviewed him in three of my books. I interviewed him in Breakthrough and then uh, Knockout, Doctors Who Are Curing Cancer Without Drugs, and then my most recent book, Bombshell. And his chapters are always mind-blowing. He was a neurosurgeon for 26 years and chose to give up that career because he was encountering cancers in younger and younger people, so rare that they had never studied it in medical school. So he decided to devote his life to studying the effects of chemicals upon the human brain. We need somebody out there thinking like that. He's authored four books, three on nutrition, and he's a trailblazer. He does uh, research into neurological disorders resulting from the environmental toxins. He is a national treasure, and he joins us today from North Carolina via webcam. Hi, Dr. Blaylock. How are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, this is Dr. Russell Blaylock. First of all, I've got to tell them that your newsletter on um, Newsmax, uh, it's called the Blaylock Report, right? A uh, Blaylock Wellness Report. I look forward to it every time it comes up on my uh, iPhone. You and I once had an amazing conversation about fluoride, and I love now that I have this large forum with all these women on Lifetime that we could talk about the realities of fluoride that's been added to our water. Uh, is it safe? Well, there's compelling evidence, and there was compelling evidence from the very beginning that it was a toxin uh, to all cells, brain cells, heart cells, every kind of cell, it, it was a toxin. Mm -hmm. And that some organs accumulated, for instance, like the thyroid gland, it's very high levels of, of uh, fluoride, and it suppresses the thyroid. Now, one of the problems we have in modern society is hypothyroidism. Right. Uh, I've never seen so much hypothyroidism. Well, your thyroid affects all your other glands, including your brain. So because of this uh, ubiquitous use of fluoride in foods and medicines and water, uh, the pollution of our lakes and streams with it now, uh, watering of our crops with it, uh, people are accumulating large amounts of this fluoride. And it's destroying not only their teeth, but we find out that 40% uh, of our population now is starting to get fluorosis of their teeth. And we know that that's a good measure of what's going on inside of the brain that is causing degeneration in certain areas of the brain as well. This is the thing we found in a number of research all over the world is that it lowers IQ. So it permeates the brain, permeates the bones, organs? A every organ. Every organ. So fluoride is an industrial waste byproduct. Why would cities buy it? If, if, is, is it because they didn't know what to do with it? Uh, they, it was so toxic, they didn't know how to get rid of it, so they gave it to the cities? Is that what happened? Well, it ended up that way. You know, the whole uh, fluoridation of water was based on phony science. Uh, they knew that it was a big problem causing toxicity, but they faked some science and said, well, it'll prevent cavities. Well, we look back at the evidence they were looking at, it didn't prevent cavities. It actually destroyed the enamel of the teeth. These companies like the, the fertilizer company, aluminum companies that produce tons of uh, fluoride as a waste product had a problem getting rid of it. Well, this was an easy way not only to get rid of it without having to put it in a, in a special dump uh, that cost them a lot of money, they could sell it. They sell it to every city to put in the water with the, the uh, story that it prevents cavities. Now we have absolute proof it does not prevent cavities. Ugh. So all our toothpaste and our water has fluoride in it. We think we're doing something good for ourselves, and here it's having the opposite effect? Exactly. Do they offer to, to build bridges or, or freeways? or What's the incentive for the city to take it? They come into a city and they say, we'd like to fluoridate the water. Well, if the city says, no, we don't want it fluoridated, what they'll do is come back and say, well, we, we'd like to offer you a contract to build bridges and improve your roads or whatever. But if you don't fluoridate the water, you won't get the contract. Uh, and so this is the way they're intimidating cities and municipalities uh, to fluoridate their water. It's very underhand. So did they con the dentists? into believing that this was actually something that would prevent tooth decay if we use fluoride? Because it was, it was endorsed by the American Dental Association. Right, and, and what happened is that uh, 
all the, the information that goes to your dentist comes from the American Dental Association. Well, with all the research we have now, which is a considerable amount of research that shows toxicity, destroying bones, increasing fractures, causing a lower IQ, uh, causing cancer rates to increase, higher aggressive cancer rates. All of this was, is, is now documented. Well, the ADA is scared that the public will find out, and then there'll be class action lawsuits against them. So what they do, they keep this propaganda going to the dentist. That's all the dentist is reading, and he really believes that the fluoride is preventing cavities. When the results show, not only does it not prevent cavities, it actually increases them. Tell them about the Manhattan Project and, and what that was about. Well, when they were producing the atomic bomb, when you're purifying the uranium, you have to use a lot of fluorine. And uh, then you end up with a lot of waste product, fluoridated uh, waste product from the purification of uranium. Well, they had a problem. What do we do with this? Uh, the people who were working on the Manhattan Project in the laboratories where they were dealing with it, they noticed that they were losing their teeth and their teeth were turning brown and, and mottled looking, and erosion of the enamel. Well, it was due to the fluoride. Uh, so they even uh, used a mythology saying that these people were actually having fewer cavities. Well, they had fewer teeth, because they were losing their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, cavity. they were kind of telling the truth. <laughs> they were telling the truth. But if you don't have little... teeth, how are you going to have cavities? <laughs> I don't ever like to talk about a problem without a solution. Where's the solution for us? What can each one of us do? And would reverse osmosis filters uh, help the problem? I prefer to use distillation. Increase your antioxidant intake. Mm -hmm. That is, your vitamin C, your vitamin E, your mixed copperols, uh, your B vitamins, your magnesium. All of these things neutralize the effect of that fluoride. Increase your diet, uh, dietary health by eating fruits and vegetables. Make sure you wash the fruits and vegetables. I can think of 900 questions right now, but I'm going to let you go to, to do your important work. I thank you so much for coming here today. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Me too. See you next time. We'll be back.